guys welcome back to another ration review and today we have another military ration now this one comes from lithuania and this is menu number 10 stewed beef or beef stew with vegetables and i gotta say these lithuanian rations are some of the best out there excellent quality and it's got a really good flameless ration heater so this ration was sent to me by my buddy shocker 71 so go check him out he's got a youtube channel he's got a ton of ration reviews so yeah go have a look the link is down below so yeah let's get on with this one all right let's have a close look at it you have this sticker and that's the label i'm not sure what that is i believe this is variant number 10 or mini number 10 and this is stewed beef or beef stew with vegetables you get 240 grams of it i guess storage temperature suggestions not sure what that is and you have a best before of april 15 2018 and i'm not sure what that is and we have nothing on the back and we have a tear notch or a slit very similar to the dark brown bag mres in size and weight this plastic's a little bit thinner than that and uh, yeah let's open it up all right let's get it open we'll use a knife just uh, for no apparent reason And we have a bag full of goodies. Let's open it up. And we have some delicious Ruta chocolate. This is really good chocolate. And I'm sure all of you can guess what this is. And this is honey. We have some instant coffee. Very nice. Some sugar and we have a vitamin C drink lemon flavor without sweeteners so we'll use some of our sugar for that and we have a list of components it's always good to have and let's see what else we have we have another bag inside the bag and we have one of the flimsiest spoons in a ration. Here we have three dry fuel tablets. I won't be using that. I learned my lesson. And the lesson is never use that indoors. We have a zip tie, very neat to have. We have some matches, not sure what that is. Deg Tukai, the strikers, and blue tip. We have a lemon or citrus moist toilet. Keep your hands clean. A package of hazelnuts that you can see them through the window. Very nice. We have some special biscuits or SU1s, also known as Panzer waffles. But yeah, these are very good biscuits. They're just uh, really hard. All right, and here we have a tray for food heating or SBIT stove or foldable stove. And this is basically it. You just fold these legs down. Actually, these go down, these two go up. Place your dry fuel in the middle and there you go. You're good to go. All right, now for the main entree. Yeah, I know the white on white background doesn't help, but let's get this thing open. And inside we have our main entree. All right, so we have instructions how to use the flameless ration heater. And it's pretty straightforward. You just add water and place your food inside, close it up, and that's it. And we do have a main entree of beef stew with the vegetables. So we were right on that. So yeah, that's it. 
All right, guys, there it is, the Lithuanian menu number 10. And here we have everything neatly laid out just so you can get a nice view of all the contents. And we have the beef stew with vegetables, special biscuits or SU1, Panzer waffles, citrus moist toilet, honey, chocolate, hazelnuts, the most flimsiest spoon you could ever use. Be careful with that. Matches, instant coffee, vitamin C, lemon flavor, instant drink, cuckoos or sugar, 12 grams of that, zip tie, one of the best flameless ration heaters, full of a stove and dry fuel tablets. So let's plate this stuff up get the drinks ready and try it out all right i like to start you guys off with the drinks so let's prepare them need some hot water my keurig is busted so i'll just use my penny stove all right let's check out this vitamin c drink let's see how much water we need you need about two and a half cups for this And uh, yeah, it's got a nice citrus or lemon scent. It just looks like yellow sugar, so. All right, so the package says without sweetener. You can see in the powder some sugar, so I'm not sure what they mean by sweeteners. I guess this is all natural or no artificial sweeteners, I guess. All right, so let's add the water, get this thing prepared. And that's about two and a half cups of water. All right, let's stir it using our nice spoon. All right, let's let that dissolve for a few minutes. We'll get back to it. All right, let's check out the instant coffee or tier P kava. And I know I butchered that, so I apologize. And preparation, we need to empty the contents of the bag, pour with boiling water, stir up well, and add sugar to taste. So let's do that. We have our nice East German tiny cup. Perfect for coffee. And it does not specify how much water to use. So I guess that's the taste or whatever you want to use. nice fine powder let's get some kukru's in there again if i'm not pronouncing any of this stuff the right way please let me know in the comments i don't mean to insult anyone let's get our sugar in there and we have our boiling water so let's do a nice close-up of that Make it a little bit strong. Get this out of the way. There we go. Stir this up. And yeah, this tiny little cup is perfect for coffee. As you can see, it's a very nice dark roast. And this being an aluminum cup, everything gets extremely hot. Clean up a little bit. All right, so I think our drink is ready. Give it another stir. Let's have a taste. Yeah, it's got great color to it and um, I can definitely smell the citrus. So let's, uh, let's have a taste. Yeah, you can definitely taste the citrus and some of the vitamin C. It's not overpowering. It's just right, I would say. The lemon flavor is really nice. Very mild sweetness and yeah, it's very refreshing, really good. Let's check out the coffee without burning ourselves. There it is, nice black coffee. All right, let's try it out. Wow, that's really good coffee, nice bold roasted flavor. I would say this is a really good quality cup of coffee, so can't go wrong with that. All right, let's heat up the main entree. I know some of you guys have seen this process like a thousand times, so I'll skip through this, I'll fast forward, and we'll come back. All right, let's check out the other components. Let's open up the hazelnuts. Land it right in the bowl. 
and they look like plain hazelnuts. I don't think they're salted, so let's try them out. Yeah, those are just regular hazelnuts. Nothing wrong with them. Just uh, they're unsalted and just very plain. Let's check out the special biscuits. Place them here. All right, here we have a special biscuit. It's got some holes in it and um, some seeds. Let's hear that crunch. It's got a good snap to it. All right, let's try it. Oh, there goes my tooth. These are actually really good biscuits. They have a nice flavor to them. A uh, slight sweetness and you have very, very hard. It's Dippelman coffee. All right, let's soften it up. There we have the special biscuit dipped in coffee, all right. That did not make a difference. Uh, still hard as a brick. You would probably have to leave that in the coffee overnight just to soften it up. All right, let's have a look at the honey. Feels a little bit warm. Oh yeah, it's nice and soft. Almost melted. Well, there you have the honey. Let's uh, try it. Let's try it with the biscuit. Let's get more of that. There we go. All right, let's try it. All right, that honey is excellent. It's got a nice gritty texture to it. It goes really well with the biscuits and um, yeah, you can't really go wrong with honey, especially this one since it's really good quality. All right, I placed the main entree in the box just to make sure I get it nice and hot. So let's just wait another few minutes. nice and hot. All right, let's get it out. Have this extra tear notch. All right, let's open it up. We use our knife. All right. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got a great smell to it. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. Let's have a look. And on one side, we have the beef, and here we have the vegetables. It's got a great smell to it. All right, let's give the vegetables a try. There you can see some carrots, uh, potatoes, and all kinds of goodies. Not sure what this is. Let's leave it in there. All right, let's try it. Yeah, that definitely tastes like beef stew. It's got great flavor to it, excellent seasoning. Let's go for the beef now a nice big chunk there you have it let's go for it yeah the beef has really good flavor to it very tender and this is more like ground beef not chunks of beef but it's still really good and very flavorful it's a nice hearty meal let's uh, try with the cracker All right there we have the beef stew with panzer waffle that is a really good meal. It does not have a processed taste to it. It tastes very authentic. I'm willing to go as far as to say that it tastes almost homemade, I would say. That's why I love these Lithuanian rations. The quality is just fantastic. It's excellent. So let's, uh, let's go for dessert. And we have the Ruta chocolate bar or socoladas or chocoladas. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And um, these are really good quality. Let's have a look. And in fact, you get two of them, and it looks like they've been around for a while. Let's have a bite. That is an excellent chocolate bar. You can't go wrong with it. Very good quality, nice, smooth, creamy. All right, guys, that's it. That wraps it up. That was the Lithuanian ration, menu number 10, beef stew. And uh, I must say these are excellent. This is one of the best rations out there. I highly recommend it. So if you go on eBay, I think there's someone selling them for like 13 bucks. So go ahead, pick one up. You won't be disappointed. And I just want to give a big thanks and shout out to Shocker71. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. The link is down below. And yeah, leave me a like, leave me a comment and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching. See you soon.